We see the rev room in my party now. I'm going to go ahead and trade over a Pokemon to Zen and have him trade his rev room to me just so that we can compare and contrast the two rev room, uh, the two rev rooms. Rev rooms. The two rev rooms to show you guys that they are exactly the same rev room, effectively clones of one another because they were caught from the same encounter. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Not and welcome to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Alrighty guys, so we're, we're jumping right back in after the shiny video to, to make a little video and talk about something that uh, I kind of mentioned in the shiny video. The potential of a shiny duplication glitch existing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, specifically for hunting shinies in multiplayer in co-op using the Union Room. So, I've got my buddy Zen here and we're going to jump into the video and, and talk about the shiny duplication glitch and exactly how this glitch works and how you're able to do this glitch. One thing I want to point out is that I did lose my audio for, for most of the video, so what I'll be doing is I will be talking kind of, kind of over that section and uh, we'll hear kind of Zen's audio going on as well. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so the way that this, out, this uh, glitch works is um, basically what you have to do is you have to find a shiny in a multiplayer session. So as the host, I invited Zen to my game and invited him here. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off autosave. So I could really do this right when we find the shiny instead, but I'm just gonna do it now to be safe. I'm still gonna have to save the game right before um, I attempt to uh, catch the shiny or more specifically Zen attempts to catch the shiny. But again, basically the way this is going to work is we're gonna load in, we're going to kill a bunch of, in this case, rev rooms to try and get a shiny rev room to spawn. Once a shiny rev room spawns, the way that the glitch is going to work is that Zen is going to go ahead and catch that rev room first. And then after Zen catches the rev room, um, I'm going to reload my game and try and catch it myself. So more specifically, again, just so I'm very clear, I'm going to save my game as soon as we see a shiny. Zen's going to catch that shiny. And if the glitch works the way that, you know, we kind of expected it would in the last video, it's going to basically happen so that Zen's going to catch the shiny. I'm going to reload my game. I'm going to be able to catch the shiny as well. All right. So with that, we're going to kill a ridiculous number of rev room and we're going to be right back. All righty. We are already back because as you hear Zen saying in the background, we have already found a shiny rev room. We literally killed maybe 20 of these. Like we were planning on doing kind of the picnic. Zen has a bunch of the Urban Mystica. We were going to kind of like do like the full shiny hunting method, but already we found one. So first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to save my game before Zen gets into combat with the rev room at all, right? Because I don't want it to auto save, right? Nothing like that. But again, I want to make sure I'm saving with the shiny on screen before he battles it. So there we have it. We see Zen engage the rev room in combat. Dude, I'm so pumped at this point because again, like we literally just uh, we just got done oh, killing really this like 20 of them but yeah we we're talking about here like neither of us had any idea what this actually shiny looked like so looks super cool we have the gold trim all the gold metal instead of the silver but otherwise very shiny oh, dude, epic catch. Yep. so so zen gets the catch with the critical capture immediately um so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait because zen needs to make sure his game is saved before I reset mine because as soon as I kill my game, it's going to kick Zen out of my lobby. So again, if you're doing this with your friends, make sure they, they catch their Pokemon. Uh, make sure they catch their Pokemon and then it, it's fine to kind of back out um, before I guess, uh, before you go any further. All right, so we'll give it just a second here for, for Zen to, to close out of his game. And then I'll show you guys uh, what I'm going to do on my side on my Switch. Okay, I'm saved. Good. All right, perfect. So now that we confirm Zen has saved his game, I'm going to go ahead and close out of my game, and we're going to go ahead and reopen the game. I was thinking about cutting some of this out just to save a little bit of time of, of the load-in, but I want to make sure you guys know that like I didn't do anything different, so I do kind of want to show you guys kind of the full glitch in 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 progress, I guess, if you will, so that you guys are, are aware of, yes, this does work, and this is kind of how you can do the shiny duplication glitch. And thanks for bearing with me with, with, the, with the audio cutting out, man. It's just... Sometimes, sometimes recording software decides it doesn't do what it wants to do. So, but anyway, I'm again, I'm actually recording this right after we did it. So I'm still super pumped that uh, we just caught a shiny rev room and you'll see that it's even like, it, it, dude, my, my mind is blown. This thing is so cool. This is such a cool, cool new Pokemon. And the one that we got in particular is cool. So there you guys have it. I reloaded the game. Obviously I'm not in multiplayer anymore. It kicks Zen out and the shiny rev room right there. I'm just going to jump into a battle immediately uh, again you hear zen kind of in the background a little bit just stoked this actually uh, did I, work no, I don't think so. 
Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and catch the rev room. But I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of this out just because I'm specifically trying to catch it in a weird Pokeball. So give me just a second here and we'll jump right back in when yes, I catch the rev room. Uh, Alright, so it took me a little longer to catch it than I would have liked. Only because I, I decided, you know what, I want to catch it in a weird Pokeball. And when you do that, you know, it's, it's, it just takes forever. So, alright, put the thing to sleep, I think, multiple times. Uh, just, just so I can try and catch it. And uh, again, I'm just throwing at this point weird Pokeballs out of dive balls, net balls. I, again, I just like Pokeballs that kind of have weird animation. So even though, you know, it's not a water type, there we have it. We have caught the Reveru. So now, again, just to make it very clear to you guys, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Zen trade me his Reveru and then we're going to compare the two, right? And apparently I had never actually caught a rev room before, which kind of blows my mind because uh, I feel like I've, I've battled like so many of them. But anyway, I had never actually caught one before. So we're going to go ahead and add it to our party. I'll show you guys the summary of the rev room real quick. And um, and yeah, then I'll, you know, just kind of go over uh, what what how this rev room looks. And then we'll, we'll show you guys Zen's rev room as well. Obviously, because I have my autosave turned off before I do anything else, I'm going to save the game just because I obviously don't want to lose the rev room that I just caught, right? Though, I mean, I guess I could jump back in. All right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start up a link trade with Zen, and then we'll be right back. All right, so now we're here in the trade window. I've started up my link trade with Zen, so I'm going to go ahead and we see the rev room in my party now. I'm going to go ahead and trade over a Pokemon to Zen and have him trade his rev room to me just so that we can compare and contrast the two rev uh the two rev -nooms. Revenooms. The true rev rooms to show you guys that they are exactly the same rev room, effectively clones of one another because they were caught from the same encounter. Now, the Pokeball they were caught in are, is going to be different, obviously. The OTIT is going to be different, but I expect that all of the IVs, all of the EVs, everything like, well, I mean, the EVs will be zero. We just caught it, right? All the moves, everything like that will be the exact same in the exact same order. All right, so let's go ahead and get this trade through and, uh, you know, show you guys uh, again. Just uh, just in this particular case, just how crazy this exact rev room is. Like, my mind is is blown. Once once we jump into the stats, I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit about why my mind is so blown with this particular rev room. Because, I mean, well, A, a it's shiny. But not only is it shiny, it, it has uh, some other pretty incredible things about it. All right. So sending off the iron... How do you even say that? Juglius? Like, what a, what a weird name, man. Some of these, some of these future Pokemon have in crazy, crazy names. All right, so we see the shiny rev room. Dude, that cold plated rev room is <laughs> Zen is super yeah. excited about the rev room, man, and I can't blame him. All right, so we've got his rev room, and uh, we're going to just basically compare and contrast right here in the trade menu to my own. So first things first, this thing has zero special attack. So rev room is a physical attacker, so having zero special attack is is insane it's like it's it's amazing it means that you know we're, we're less susceptible to anything that scales based of our special attack it's like such a little buff like there but there's a move that does i just can't remember what it's called like flatter maybe something i can't remember but uh there's a move that does scale off of it and now we see my rev room has the exact same stats so no good decent 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 pretty good pretty good zero special attack honestly the fact that there's there's no bottle caps to, to zero out a stat so this is this is truly incredible that we happen to manage to catch one with zero special attack yeah, and an adamant uh, nature on top of that like again we're we're just incredibly lucky so here i'm looking through zen's we obviously see there was caught in an ultra ball and it has a zen's original trainer and id moves screech iron head swagger and here we could actually see that it has a current ribbon or mark because when a pokemon has no ribbon or mark what it will just say is none. It'll say like it'll say no ribbon or mark to to apply. So there is a ribbon or mark on this Pokemon, which means we actually caught a marked shiny rev room with zero special attack. I, in an adamant nature, like my mind is literally blown at how rare this thing is. And here's we're just saying my rev room in the netball, other other than uh, ID and OT, exactly the same. <clears throat> Again, so my mind is blown. My mind is absolutely blown. And uh, you know, actually, what I'll what I'll do here too. Um, before we go any further is I'll jump over and show you guys really quickly the mark on the rev room because I did record that as well, right? So so one second here. Let me show you guys the mark on the rev room after I jump out of the train venue. All right, so here we are. So I actually went back into the game um, and now we can see once you actually apply the mark that this rev room actually has the blizzard mark. So again, in case you guys are, are aware, like catching a marked shiny is so incredibly rare. At least it was in Sword and Shield. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly as rare as it was uh, before, but if it was, again, this is an incredibly rare thing. So super pumped to find out that not only is the Rev Room shiny, adamant, zero special attack, but it also has a Blizzard mark, aka naming it Rev Room the Shivering. So super incredible. 
But uh, anyway, let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and jump screens here and uh, we'll go ahead and close this out. I just wanted to basically talk about a couple more things. Again, recap how this glitch works and what I think about it. Do I think Nintendo will patch this or do I think this is a good or bad thing? So one moment. Alrighty guys. So in summary, how do I feel about this glitch? Overall, I'm, I'm okay with it. So typically, as you guys know, I'm very against any type of, of kind of cheating within Pokemon. But this obviously is, is more of a glitch than it is a, a hack, right? Because this Pokemon's not leaving the game and it's not hitting hacking software, right? So overall, I'm a little more okay with this. The main reason though that I'm okay with this, not because it's like not technically a hack, right? The main reason that I'm okay with this is because it makes co-op multiplayer shiny hunting fun, right? Because the alternative is, let's say you go in this with three of your friends, one of your friends, your little brother, and one of you finds a shiny, you have to fight over that shiny. And that's just horrible. It's kind of a horrible feeling. So overall, just because of that, just because, again, it makes it more of a fun experience for you and your friends to shiny hunt together. I think that this is overall a, a pretty great thing. So hopefully Nintendo doesn't patch this. I don't think they intended for this to be the case, but because of the way the hosting system works, it, it, it does work, right? So as a, again, a very quick recap on how this works is the host, right? So whoever's inviting other people to their lobby has to be the last one to catch the shiny, right? So, uh, and only one other person in, in your game will be able to catch that shiny. So if you're, if you're loaded up with four people, only two of you can get the shiny. Four of you cannot get the shiny, right? And that's just because once the host disconnects, it's going to zap everybody out back into their own instances. Um, so just, just keep that, keep that in mind. Uh, now. The only other thing that I can kind of um, that I can kind of mention about this is again, if you want to do it, have the host jump into the game, save the turn off auto save, save the game right before um, your friend catches the shiny. So when you see a shiny, save the game, have your friend catch that shiny, and then reload your save, and you'll be able to catch the shiny as well. Very simple glitch to do, and uh, now we can say with 100% certainty that it, it does indeed work. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. Hopefully, you guys found this super helpful and hopefully this makes shiny hunting with your friends fun like hopefully hopefully you know you're now not afraid to do that with your friends so uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment though is is this glitch a bad thing is this glitch a good thing are you guys very against this are you guys very for this let me know how you feel because again i'm still a little torn about it but overall i think it's it's a positive force so all right guys that's it though uh, if you guys want to see more pokemon scarlet and violet content make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh i'll see you guys next time thanks everybody Thank you.